The COVID-19 pandemic has imposed unprecedented challenges on the regional education system, and the Minister of Education, Priya Manik Chand, believes firmly that the Caribbean and Guyana must address the socio-economic disparities that affect students and teachers. The minister was delivering her feature address at the official announcement of the Caribbean Examination Council's CXC, CSEC and CAPE results. The event was hosted on Thursday at the Arthur Chong Conference Center. The digital divide and other similar equity issues were brought into sharp focus as the deep fissures between those possessing the wherewithal to adapt and those ill-equipped to undertake such adjustments became very pronounced. It is therefore vital that as we examine strategies and approaches for the advancement of education within the region, equal attention is given to addressing the structural and system systemic barriers that inhibit those within our respective territories from effectively participating and benefiting. Minister Manik Chan noted that it is critical that the region is candid about the harsh realities that the pandemic has forced on its people. More importantly, she highlighted how essential it is for the people to learn the key lessons as a way of buttressing, improving, and sustaining improvements for future education systems. It is imperative that we are candid about the harsh realities the pandemic has forced us to confront, and more importantly, that we learn the key lessons as a means of buttressing and improving and sustaining those improvements our, for our systems in the future. Meanwhile, Registrar of CXC, Dr. Wayne Wesley, said that over the past two years, the capability and ability of all normative systems were and continue to be tested, revealing the inadequacies and vulnerabilities in the regional education system. He noted that it is imperative for member states to develop a greater level of resilience in the education sector. To build back better or stronger suggests rebuilding the same structures and systems that would have failed to cope with the challenges of the global pandemic. Therefore, the approach is to the approach to rebuilding to the rebuilding efforts is to build back sustainably through innovative transformation. Going forward, Dr. Wesley said that these events connote a rebuilding effort that is geared towards resilience and operational flexibility.